Hey guys, it is week number six. We are six weeks out. I can't believe I have to think about it. We are six weeks out. So what I'm gonna be doing is kind of showing you guys a day in the life and what I have been typically doing as a nutritionist and personal trainer in a day. So I'll show you what that is like and what six weeks out looks like. So you ready? Let's do this. So I wanna show you guys where I work at when I'm working on um, client programming, emails, creating new um, content, getting together this meal prep and macro friendly ebook that I'm writing and I'm gonna show you guys where all the magic happens. So where am I? I'm in the kitchen. Someone else would be like, what the heck is going on? Sometimes I like working from the kitchen island. Sometimes I just feel like more um, productive and it's just been working for me. I think I like the sunlight. So I'll work with my laptop here. I'll have my notebook and things that I need to do. So like I've got my goals for the week here um, and then my iPad, which is like all dirty because I don't know why it's dirty. It's just dirty right now. My phone, my water, I already finished my herbal tea, so all of that is gone. But there is something about working right here in this spot, and I like it. So at nighttime and early in the morning, I will work in the office. I have an office that I work in. But this is where all the magic goes down. So right now, I'm working on my macro-friendly recipe ebook for you guys. It will be up soon. It's definitely taking longer than I thought. I think I'm up to like 8,000 words in this document. So bear with me, it is coming. Keep looking for it. I'll say it again, it's coming. All right, the workstation is officially set up. I've had my tea this morning. We're gonna start tackling. Oh, that was close, you guys. Start tackling this gallon. And I've got my Collagen Beauty Booster to help with cellulite skin elasticity. I'm gonna have way more skin, loose skin on stage for this show than most people, but I do my two scoops per day serving. Um, it also helps with fine lines and wrinkles. And I have now been incorporating this green superfood. If you want, if you guys want to get this, um, on my website, gtransformationfitness.com, I do have a link to all my Amazon favorites. But this has wheatgrass, barley grass, uh, chlorella, broccoli, spinach, acai, a bunch of things because I need health in a jar when my immune system is lower on prep. And this is only 25 calories and it's three carbs. I do not track it in my fitness pal, but I'm doing it to get all of these superfoods in. And this one is the chocolate. It is not a great taste, but it's fruitier when I add this strawberry lemonade beauty booster to it. But this is health. I need it. I probably will continue it on and off after the show, but it's just one scoop per day. It also, um, helps to keep your digestive system a little more regular, which I need on this prep. So that's it, and we'll shake it up, get our little drink together, and we'll start our work. All right, so client emails are done, plans are written. I finished all of the macro um, recipe ebook. So now it's gonna be on to um, editing and getting the pictures and stuff uploaded so that is going to be a task but it's going to happen so taking a break from all of that while well, i've got food in my system i'm heading to the gym and it's going to be a back day so let's get it so it's like 50 ish degrees in indiana right now the wind is really high I am freezing walking into the gym with just my tank top. But I like fitness people. Alright, let's get this back day in. Whew. So, done with the gym. Had to go to Kroger to get a few items. Being a fit chick in a family that eats mostly at home and not out to eat a lot. 
we run out of stuff, so. Need to get some ketchup for the kitties. Sugar-free French vanilla creamer. This one is only one carb per serving. And I had to get some more berry medley. I have an acai, or sorry, acai <laughs> bowl recipe that is coming, and I needed to make it one more time. Atlantic salmon. This is the lean pie. Only 1.5 grams of fat. I got some oatmeal for the kids. Chocolate chip. 99 cents right now at Kroger. <laughs> and then I got plain instant oatmeal for me just for portion sizes. It's 19 carbs. And I'm going to add some organic coconut sugar and stevia and cinnamon to spice this up. And then one of the favorite things I got that I'm going to try soon is from Eat Enlightened. You guys see me post stuff about them. I got a free box of seat, sorry, sea salt caramel um, ice cream bars. There are four in a pack. If you guys got one of those um, sample packs for me that has the bean crisp, there was a coupon in there to get a free pack. So only 80 calories. It's got 1.5 fat, which is really awesome. There's only 17 carbs, but where else do you get fiber in your ice cream and protein? So I'll let you guys know what these taste like. So I'm gonna get these items put away and get me something in my belly because I'm hungry. So here's lunch, you guys. Cabbage does not look pretty. <laughs> But there's sauteed green beans with garlic. There is a slow roasted um, apple smoked turkey tenderloin and cabbage. I actually cooked these two together and the recipe for this is coming out in my macro ebook. But this meal is um, 23 grams of protein and I believe it's 11 carbs and three fats. So definitely prep friendly. <laughs> and I'll probably add a little hot sauce to the cabbage. So I just got done eating and I'm working on editing my macro book a little bit more, but sometimes when I eat, I'll check in on my client's page. It's a private Facebook page for clients I'm coaching on macro plans. And I'll just see, you know, how they're doing, if they need any assistance, if there's any questions. Um, but yeah, my clients check in on here. Let me know what they're up to. Look, here's a new halo top. Have you guys tried it? Um, I show them macro friendly items when I find them, when I'm out, food ideas. Um, and then there's like edu eh, educational information, shout outs, positive stuff people showing their food showing different products and stuff but I just go back in there a few times a day and check and see how they're doing I post my stuff my food um, just lots of things so. so I just wanted to show you guys what that looks like but I'm getting ready to get back online answer a few more emails and then I'm gonna start formatting um, this macro friendly recipe book um, until it's time for my kids to come home, get them snacks and stuff, and then um, edit another YouTube video that I'm working on, and then go with my husband and do my cardio in the evening. So I'll check back with you guys in a bit. So I'm running low on protein, and I'm going to show you guys how to make my three ingredient jalapeno shrimp. All you need is taco seasoning green jalapeno tomatillo hot sauce. You can also get this as a Tabasco brand and garlic powder. And you guys know I always use olive oil nonstick spray. So pan is hot. Let me show you how quick this is going to be. Taco seasoning. Season them up. I'm gonna stir with a spoon and then I'm gonna add them to the pan. So you want to make sure they, these little people, are 
all flat and this is raw shrimp raw shrimp will absorb whatever you're seasoning with if you use cooked shrimp this is not going to work well it's going to be dry and rubbery and then you're going to cook about two almost three minutes per side and then i'll come back and show you guys the next step i love how shrimp only takes five minutes to make so easy once it starts to curl up like this and the gray is gone and it's pink you know it's almost done so last step of that three step ingredient we're going to add about this is about 10 shakes Ten shakes, stir it all around, and there you go. You've got your green jalapeno <laughs> shrimp. That's the way you got it on safety. Why go way too brown? I'm probably shouldn't be around you. But you get wild, wild, wild. You looking like there's nothing that you won't do. What you won't do? Like a last one I told you. Told you. When I was you, all I get is wild. You're good right there. You were right about your uh, pelvis though. Something's definitely off. I think maybe just like here, maybe this side's forward, this is back. Uh, I can't tell for sure. <clears throat> well, your right leg looks short, which usually means the right side of your pelvis is down and back. Okay. And the left side is forward and up. <clears throat> So I'm gonna stretch. That made a big difference already. <laughs> it really did. I can't be any shorter. <laughs> uh, this one towards me more. There you go. And then this leg up. Good. I'm gonna bring your bottom hip a little closer to me. Okay. Just more relax. Good. And I'm gonna have you the other way for me. Where do you work out? I can't remember. This LA Fitness. Do you? Anytime. Wait. Bottom me up. Uh, other way, top me. Yep, and this shoulder. More. There you go. Yeah, I won't bring it up. Both. <laughs> you go to Lifetime down on 86, like that. Big oh one? no, LA Fitness and Anytime Fitness. Oh, Anytime. I'm sorry, I thought you said Lifetime. Good. Yeah, no, we'll face up for me. Let's see if we can get this move a little better in here. Take a breath in for me. Good, and then all the way out. That's the ticket. Wow, it's yeah. better already. That area was pretty tight. Yeah, I do a lot of back work. Yeah, you can relax your arms. Traction your hips a little bit and you'll be all set. Feeling better, aligned, and fresh. So one of the things you do in prep is eat a lot. So we've got to go to Costco and get stocked back up. What you need and get out all right so just got home I got everything um, in the refrigerator freezer from Costco got some things thawing that I'm going to cook but today has been 
a long day. So worked on client plans, emails, reviewed client applications for my macro flexible nutrition program. I did back day this morning. Um, I got pictures uploaded for my ebook, which is really difficult because I've been looking for pictures that I've created of the meals that I've cooked over like the last two and three years. Um, I did some video editing. Got their kit, got the kids their snacks and stuff after school. Um, went to the chiropractor, and now I'm getting ready to review a couple of emails till we head out to the gym and I do my evening cardio, and then I'll be working um, some on some other content for my clients in my um, team. G transformation group which are all my clients are on plans with me and by the time I finish all of that it'll be 9 p.m. so this is what a typical crazy um, day is like for me I love it I feel like I don't work a day in my life because I'm blessed enough to be able to do um, what I love so hopefully you guys enjoy seeing some of the things that I do on a daily basis if you have any questions about any of my programs that are currently available just hit me up and my information is down in the box but until then I will see you guys in the next video